What's a prescriptive title? Hi, this is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and enthusiast. And welcome from the beautiful Chippewa Square in Savannah, Georgia. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous February day. We have almost 70 degrees outside. Actually, I think it's a little over 70 and it's just beautiful. And behind me, you see the statue of General Oglethorpe, who's one of the founders of Savannah. So I'm having a great day here today and I wanted to record some videos with some new questions that I've had on my YouTube channel and in my email. And first off, I just want to apologize because I get so many questions these days and there's so much interest in my audiobooks. I'm trying I'm having a hard time catching up. So if I don't answer to your question right away, feel free to send me another email. It actually goes to the top of my list and then I'll address address it immediately. And we have an old time person dressed up right there, which is actually pretty cool. Always cool stuff in my videos. You gotta watch my videos. So anyway, this video is a really brief, quick video that just talks a little bit about what is a prescriptive title. As you know, I'm really big into tax sale investing, tax liens, tax deeds. And um, recently a question came up as to how good is the title of a tax sale property when you purchase it in an auction? Is this something of a marketable title or does it have any flaws in it? Would you have to do anything to it in order to clear the title or what's the process? Because a lot of people are just really hesitant to get into that kind of investing because they're afraid that they can't do anything with the property. They can't get a mortgage on it or um, can't, um, can't pull any money out of it for any reason and that the title is not good for them to sell. So what I did recently is I sold one of my tax sale properties to another um, investor couple and they're actually um, very happy with the purchase because they got a great deal. But I told them right from the beginning that I purchased the property at a tax sale foreclosure which means that it's not a 1000% clear good title. Um, however, it's very unlikely that anybody's ever going to come and try to take the property from them. However, they would have to do quite a title in order to get um, a good warranty title that's insured by a title insurance to get like for example a mortgage on it or some sort of builder's loan. And they understood that and um, their attorneys had informed them of that and my attorney told them as well. But we came to a discussion on prescriptive title. So if you purchase a property at a tax sale foreclosure or a tax lien foreclosure and the title is not 1000% perfect, you can go through the quiet title action. It's going to cost a couple of thousand dollars. It's going to take more months. You have to hire an attorney. You have to go through that legal process. But alternatively, you can just hold the property for a while and then you will get something that is called a prescriptive title. And a prescriptive title is basically that since you've held the property for a certain amount of years that now it's a good title because nobody came in that time to get the property back from you for any reason. And um, the statute of limitation in the state of Georgia is seven years. However, title companies sometimes accept three years also. So the couple totally understood this, that bought this property and they're just gonna hold, hold on to it. They're gonna make improvements to it and rent it for the next couple years until the title insurance says it's a green light and we'll give you a title insurance on that. And that's basically the answer. A prescriptive title is a good title that you can get over time without having to go through the quiet title action to clear the title 1000% right away if you buy a tax sale foreclosure. And if you found my tips and my information helpful, please subscribe at my website, juliamspencer.com. Download my newsletter there. I have tons of YouTube videos also that you can watch. I have a Facebook site, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on all kinds of social media, everywhere. You just type in my name, Julia M. Spencer. M stands for money and in any Google search engine and you'll find me. And feel free to ask questions and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for your interest. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.